woke up this morning, but this is where I woke up. Farm country. Sort of. A lot of fields out here, but there's also like a lot of windmills just to the north of me. Can't see them from where I'm at, but they're up over the ridge. You may remember this place. This is the place that I delivered oil to. Gosh, wasn't it like December or January? I'll put a link up above to the uh, to the video, but yeah, it's the one where I had to take a torch to the trailer to basically get the valves open. And this is one of our old trailers. You can see the name of the company right on the side where, where it used to be. So I got here last night, of course, pitch black. I mean, it's, there's nothing around here. You know what I mean? So super dark. Um, went ahead and parked next to this one because this is the one that I unloaded into the last time. So just waiting on the road crew to get here. My appointment time was 7 a.m. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I've got paperwork in there. I'll just give them a call on the phone. Um, there's like forecasts for rain yesterday, today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, and probably the next several days after that. So, I don't know if they're just not working or they're not working a day or what, but. You know, last time I was here, uh, this whole parking lot ended up filled up with vehicles, you know, and, and machinery and equipment. And so the fact that that's not here again at 7 a.m., I have to go with they might not be working today. So anyway, let me grab my paperwork. Let me give them a call. I am pretty darn close to being where I need to be. I might need to move up like a foot at best just because of where that outlet is and where their inlet is right now my hose would kind of be going like this I can move up just a little bit and then bring it straight around so let me give them a shout and uh, see if this is where they want me yeah. yes sir this is James with Acord how are you this morning good yourself Doing well. Uh, I've got a load of this road oil over here for you um, at the intersection here at 54 and 9. Could you tell me which trailer you want this in? That that one on the north, straight north of that building. Yes, sir. The one on the north side. Okay. Just wanted to ver verify since there was like at least two. Looks like maybe a third over here. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. I'll get her pumped off, sir. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. What do you want me to do with the paperwork? My my. Uh, Distributor operator, I'll be there here for the quick. Okay, dope, no worries. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You too. All right, that confirms we're going into that trailer right over here. So, like I said, I'm going to get pulled up just a little bit, and uh, yeah, we'll get this thing going. All right, PTO is on. Grab our oil gloves and I'm gonna grab these because I have a feeling. I've got a feeling. Nope, sorry, no copyright. No copyright. Okay, I move. I don't know. I may have moved up a touch too far. First things first, we're gonna remove this hose. Tighten up my belt. All right. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how easy or not easy this hose comes apart. It is like 60 degrees out here. So that's like right at setup temp, meaning like the stuff gets super difficult to deal with. So far, so good. Come on now. There we go. Come on now. Come on out of there. 
Yeah, buddy. All right. We got a bucket down here to catch some of this stuff. Make sure they're closed. They are. I'm glad that that is coming off as easy as it's coming off. Ours. I was about to say, ours looks like it might be a little bit more of a challenge, but maybe not after all. This is yummy stuff, guys and gals. Yummy stuff. So we got rocks coming through the little dog ear hole here. Try to wiggle them out of there so that way I know I got a good seal when it's time. Okay. I'll set that dude right there. All right. You try your best here to not get covered in this crap. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna work on getting this side over here. I might spare you all the trouble of the pump situation just cause, man, sometimes it takes a long time. Ah, you know what? I'll go ahead and film it and if I need to kind of edit through it, I will. Need to make sure their lid's open, it is. See, it's got like this little piece kind of set through there. So it's going to allow liquid and air, you know, liquid in the back, air out the top. And I've got to make sure and open mine so that I don't implode this thing like a pop can. thinking I might need to dig out my claw hammer ah, got it Woo! nice and warm air good stuff Just prop that dude up like that okay I'm gonna pull this cap off here as you can see it's gonna make a little bit of a mess but they kind of consolidate all that and then at the end of their road job they'll clean it all out of here so all you people that are worried about the environment I am too they're not just gonna leave a bunch of crap all over the ground but I also want you to understand the oil came from the ground <laughs> you know what okay by the looks of it, we're gonna be good to go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cap. Just kind of set it right there for now. Like I said, this is gonna make a little bit of a mess because it should have diesel in here. And then they'll scrape all this stuff up. No diesel. Hmm. That's a slight concern. That is a slight concern. I hope this pump turns. We are about to find out. What I might do is I might run diesel into it first. see if that doesn't help my cause so I'm gonna open up this valve right here yeah, no I don't hang on I want to quite do all that yet because I don't want to fill this hose with oil if uh, if this dude's plugged up I know this thing's got plenty of diesel in it I checked it I was in a big fat hurry to uh, get to this site just due to hours of service so I had to I had to hustle up 
So now what I've done is I've turned the diesel on. So the diesel should come from this uh, tank through this line and then pump down through this hose. I'm bypassing this, this is closed. So we're gonna try ever so slightly towards the back. I'm gonna check it out right here. Make sure we're spinning. It sounds pretty good, but it's rolling backwards once I let off. That might be due to pressure, but man, that pump is spinning free. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this dude. Woo, buddy. All right. <laughs> it's missing the nut on the end of it. Okay, I can hear it. It is gurgling. Okay. So now we're gonna try again. Again, we do this slowly. Do this slowly. I do not like that it's rolling backwards like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's reverse. So it spit a little bit of diesel out. That's reverse, that's the wrong way. Yeah. We're gonna have to work at this a little bit. It almost sounds like it's pressuring up. That line's definitely pressuring up. Now, because I see that hose fill up and then it drops down. Hose fill up and it drops down. So it might just be that uh, that diesel just with that pump isn't enough pressure to push the fluid through. So I think we're going to send it. I know the pump's turning. So that's that is a wonderful sound and a wonderful sight. All right. So now we're going to open this which will introduce the hot oil down into this tube. I'm gonna wait till that truck goes by so that way I can hear what this thing is doing. I don't want this thing busting over the top of me. Okay, yep. We got movement. It is, it's not liking something I feel like. Okay, I didn't do anything but just keep pulling the lever backwards and she's singing like a bird. So um, I think it was just a little bit of paranoia, to be honest with you. I was worried about pressure in that lineup. You pressure that thing up, it breaks. It'll go everywhere. It'll go absolutely freaking everywhere. So. I've got a little bit of paranoia when it comes to the road oil and pumping it in the very beginning. Once it's rolling, I am home free. We're gonna crawl up top here just to verify. And it is coming in. You can see it's starting to fill in there. And I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm pretty sure it had product in here when I started because yeah, it shouldn't be that full yet. Um, he said the distributor truck would be here in a little while. The distributor truck may have to pull a load off of the back of me right here. And that's actually <clears throat> the exact same thing we did the, uh, the last time I was here. So he hooked up to the back while I was pumping and got him a load. While I was unloading, I'm gonna pull this, drop the bag. Pickup tube is in the rear. 
for the pump. Uh, it sounds crazy, like pumps way up there. See, it's kind of like my, it's the opposite of my propane trailer. My propane trailer, you need to be nose down. Oil trailers, you need to be rear down. So anyway, we're rocking and rolling. I'm gonna try to find a way to wash that off of me. I got some WD-40. I wish I had some of that nature saw, but I'm gonna go by the yard today. Once I get done with this load, I need to pick up some stuff for the truck, like mailing envelopes for mailing our bill of ladings, um, what we call trip books, which is like, you know, yes, you have a bill of lading, but we have to fill out our own sheet of paper, you know, that says, you know, where we came from, where we're unloading at, where we reloaded at, you know, we just, it's called a trip sheet. So I need to get a couple more of them. Anyway, while I'm there, I'm going to, uh, is that thing okay? Yeah, everything's okay. See, I'm freaking out, man. I'm, I'm freaking out, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'll run to the yard once I get done with this, and because uh, it's it's on the way back, I got to drop this back off in Catusa, and our yard is in between the two, so it just makes sense. Ease on by there and and get some stuff taken care of. I'm gonna call dispatch here in a minute and find out you know what they've got in store for me today. Man, my truck is just peeing a storm. The back one is peeing now. The, re the sleeper AC unit's peeing now. The front one, man, it was a huge puddle earlier. You know, it dried out, but it kept me nice and cool in there all night, and that's what you want to see. You want to see that, that water peeing out of there. That way it's not freezing up. But yeah, let's get this thing kicked off, and uh, gosh, we'll just see what the rest of the day holds. The old trailer is empty, but before I depart, let's have some breakfast. Hopefully it's not too dark. Let's help it out a little bit. There we go. All right, a little milk action. And protein powder and breakfast bars. Cannot forget men's vitamins. That's right. When you get freaking old, you have to take stuff. It's just kind of part of it, I think. I think that's like somewhere in the instruction manual of like being a human is once you reach like adulthood, which apparently is 40, it's when you become a man anyway. You know, I'm a man, I'm 40. Yeah. So since I've reached adulthood, I apparently have to take these things every day. At least I think that's what the instruction manual says. So there's that. Down the hatch, there's just a blender cup. Yeah, I put a little bit more than two scoops in it, but I was gonna put more than 12 ounces in it. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, breakfast is served. Yeah. You won't be snorting that. <laughs> okay. That all stowed away, we are good to go. Let's get on down the road, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. Can't have trash laying around. Where's my cup? All right, let's do this. All right, back at the yard. We're gonna put some fuel in this dude and drop it on the line somewhere. picked it up it was full of fuel so we're gonna make sure when I drop it off that it's also full of fuel because I'm pretty sure I used about all of it to clean that hose yeah I don't see anything on the stick Yeah, nothing. So, 
let's get that fixed. Entered in our passcode and the trailer number into that dude. Now we're gonna do this and kind of try to try to stand back so we don't get covered here. It doesn't take much. I think it holds like a gallon maybe, maybe two. It's not much. Yeah, see, I can already start to kind of see it. Just a little more. She's full now. Turn that dude off. Caught on a bolt. All right, there we go. Okay, good as new, filled up. Here we go, let's drop this thing. It can get kind of tight putting these trailers in here. See how they're all nice and stacked neatly and all that and I mean, I'll be honest with you, you probably could get another one in here but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, I think I'm gonna grab that yard dog here in a minute and uh, we'll move this dude around with it just to get it put away nice and neat. hydraulic lines removed and laid back up there on the fender where I got them. And before I go too far, yeah, all right, she's gonna release, good. I hate it whenever I get all kinds of stuff disconnected and then the dadgum fifth wheel won't release. It's a pain in the neck, you know what? Cause then you gotta hook everything back up, release the brakes, kind of reset it a little bit. And then you can uh, get it to let go, so. All right. Just lay them right up there like that. We're gonna leave ours exposed cause I'm gonna re-hitch back up to my uh, to my propane trailer just to be prepared for whatever lies ahead this thing is jacked up needs grease and it's like tweaked so I'm gonna ride it up and uh, that way it'll just be on its file. Okay, it's getting a little easier. Easier than what it was yesterday. There's probably good. We'll drop our bags and set it down. Like I said, I'll move it with the yard dog here in just a minute. All right, she's got plenty of oil pressure and air pressure. trailer in up here
He's gonna do it like a pro. That's the one we're gonna move. First time, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Lower that dude down some. Woo! Neutral. Set the truck brakes. Raise this dude up a little bit. Release the truck brakes. There we go. Okay. We're going to hook up just the emergency. Because that's the only one that actually sets the brakes really don't need service brakes on it right now well you know what let's do it so that way we don't have to worry about the hose falling somewhere else all right so our brakes are released trailer brakes are released just make sure it's not going to go nowhere And we're riding. Like I said, we're just gonna get it over closer. That way it's all nice and neat in here. It's just easier to do with this little dude than it is with my big old truck. inside it. too tight but just want it being a little bit nicer in here okay neutral I'm gonna set the trailer brakes and then I'm gonna drop the airbags on said trailer because it tends to push forward on the landing gear if you leave those aired up. So I have that lower down. Again, truck's still in neutral, so it's slowly moving forward. We don't have it binding up. And once this is dropped all the way, theoretically, I could come back probably another two, three feet. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Again, just to give everybody some more room. And then we'll drop this thing. Just 
kind of watching the fence. Right there, ought to work. Okay, set the truck trailer brakes. Come on, buddy. There we go. Lower her down. I think she's down. Should be able to hit this button. Come out of there. Guess we weren't quite low enough. There we go. All right, there we go. Set her down and come on out of there. doing work <laughs> there's people that drive these things all day long I'd have to have one with an air conditioner and all that you know what all right neutral brakes kill it really appreciate y'all being here thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and as always keep it between the mayonnaise and the mustard y'all take care